What a bottle job by Manchester City today. Allowing Man United to come back into the match when you're up 2-0. I didn't even watch the match, but I was on my I was on my Reddit account and I see, oh yeah, Man City's playing uh United today. They win it, they win the Premier League for the season. Halftime was 2-0. Yeah, they're going to win the Premier League. I didn't think I'd be making a video like this. I thought I'd be making a video saying, congratulations, Man City. But, my goodness, <laughs> what a bad week this club and Pep Guardiola is having. You're the favorites to get to the UEFA Champions League semifinals, and you lose. You get hammered away at the Anfield against Liverpool, you, you're staring down at the bottom of the barrel looking like you're going to go out in the Champions League quarterfinals when so many people pegged you as the favorites to win. Yes, yes, b believe it or not. <laughs> and these guys, these Premier League uh, inevitable champions for 2018, they're looking like they're going out in the quarterfinals, a much earlier exit than people thought. But then here today, at least... A compensation would be winning the Premier League today. Uh, I thought that after their defeat to Liverpool a few days ago, you know, they win the league today. That, that, that's at least a bittersweet kind of moment for them because they're really up against it next week uh, in the return leg. But now it's not even bittersweet. It's bitter because how on earth or what on earth does this even do? to a team psychologically. I don't know what this does to to a team psychologically. And these players, look, they're too far ahead. They're going to win the league. They could lose the next five games and then win their last game and they'd still win. They're just, it's too, it's too much of a deficit for United or anyone else to, uh, to catch them. But my goodness... How annoying, how frustrating is that? City are going to have to wait another week to win the league. And that's going to come after their very likely Champions League elimination this coming Tuesday. Or is it Wednesday? <sighs> so, <laughs> what, what a week that should be have, have been seen as a celebration with Manchester City with one foot in the Champions League semi-finals and wrapping up the 2017-2018 English Premier League title today has now become Manchester City with one foot out the door of the UEFA Champions League and now having to wait another week to take the Premier League title. So this is a really bad week for Pep Guardiola. You're going to see more and more people call him a fraud. That's an overreaction, in my opinion. But uh, what is this going to do to the players psychologically heading into that second leg? Because now he's got he's got to work really fast in regrouping these players and getting them ready in just three or four days' time to turn around, turn around a three goal deficit against Liverpool. And that's already looking unlikely. So I'm just wondering, again, I'll, I'm going to repeat myself. What, what does this do to a team's mental state uh, in such a, a high-stakes, a high important match? So now, I don't know what's going to happen. Mate, this was a big hand of help to Liverpool, in my opinion, because you can say whatever you want about Pep pre preparing these guys to make a comeback next week, but this certainly doesn't help from a psychological standpoint. And then if they get eliminated this week, which they likely will, how's that going to affect them next week, next weekend when they play for another chance? Could we see a late Manchester City collapse this uh, far advanced into the Premier League season? Who knows? We could. I do think it's a little bit too late because they're still, what, like 14, 15 points ahead of the team who just beat them. So 
you know, that's looking unlikely. But if it happens, that would be the most spectacular collapse maybe in the history of club football. But it's it's unlikely to happen, guys. It's not. But still, you know, it doesn't do them any favors uh, heading into the second leg against Liverpool this coming week. Man United just handed Liverpool uh, an even bigger advantage that they didn't even need, in my opinion. But well done, credit to Man United for coming back into this match. I'm not going to comment on the match itself because I didn't see it. I only saw the last few minutes when, you know, I reloaded my Reddit page and all of a sudden it was 3-2. I was like, holy hell, you know. So, I mean, well done to Jose Mourinho. I guess this is some kind of consolation for uh, a Champions League season for him that was uh, not so great. <laughs> but, I don't know, Man City look like they're in trouble. They look like they're in, in really dire straits at the moment. In all honesty, when all said and done, this probably just delayed the inevitable. But still, it's pretty much the last thing they want uh, heading into this coming week. And we're gonna have we're gonna see how that um, you know plays a role. And even if they go on to win the Premier League, it's still gonna leave a really sour taste in their mouths because they will have ended the season in such disappointingly shocking fashion. So, you know, leave a comment below, like, subscribe. Uh, does this hurt them against Liverpool this week? Or do you think not really? I'll see you later today. Have a good one. Much love and peace.